Right, what's going on? It's your boy Devil's Do, and I'm over here with Zach O, uh, senior merchandising uh, yeah. marketing, marketing supervisor. My, my Zach, I'm not that senior. All right, he gonna kick my ass. He gonna kick my ass. Um, That's cool, man. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I want to say um, I want to thank you first and foremost because um, a guy like you always take time to talk to people like me. Uh, like, like I said in the email, I don't know if you remember last year, you actually gave me like 20 minutes of your time. I was in a wheelchair. Maybe, I'm not, I don't know if you that was... That was you, man. No, and, I forgot about that. And I bought the Juggernaut, and you, you was trying to sell me in on the mini maids. I'm like, nah, not right now, but now I'm starting to like them, actually. And I'm kind of pissed off because last year you had the Thundercat stuff, and I, I really wanted to get that since Bandai had, some, they, yeah. they dropped the ball on the on that line. We might still have some sets. We do carry some sets on our uh, web store, the DiamondSelectToys.com. But some, most of those are exclusive to different conventions. So some of those you might have to track down on the secondary market. But we do have one or two, I think, still in our shop. But yeah, that was something we did for uh, a company called Icon Heroes. And they did them as uh, con exclusives and exclusives through uh, Action Figure Express. But we designed them for them, just like we're designing in the uh, Big Bang Theory stuff for uh, for uh, uh, Entertainment Earth. Okay. And uh, and, and Big Bang Pal. But, so. But honestly, um, Band I dropped the ball on that anyway. So when you guys were to, yeah, because all we really got was a six-inch classics Lionel Mumra. They made some really nice stuff in the six-inch, but, uh, but it, didn't, it didn't pick up. We didn't get a chance to go too far with it. We were happy that we were able to do, you know, five sets for, for Icon Heroes because, you know, we, we love those designs. We thought they translated great to Minimates, that classic animated look. You know, a lot of that old age stuff is great. We love the deck and more of that stuff, but most of us, you know, with other toy companies, so it's hard to get in on that market. But Thundercats was just a serendipitous, you know, the fact they were... And, and did it do well, if, I, if you don't mind me asking? Yeah, I believe it did well for uh, for Action Figure Express had a lot of the exclusives. Um, yeah, but they, they never wanted to do more than four or five sets of Icon Heroes. They had a lot of other... Uh, Products like you know uh, letter openers and uh, desk and statues stuff like that. They made a thunder tank and statue that was in scale and mini It's very cool. Oh wow! Um, See, and I missed out on. They made a lot of stuff, and I think they just you know they're like you know we made plenty. We didn't want to keep going and you know get into some of the more minor characters. I mean, by that point we were talking about like the berserkers and you know Hachiman and stuff like that. So I mean, we made a lot of big guys, uh, and I think I think uh, I think we had a pretty good run on it. But, um, you know, that was just one of the, you know, just, and also we have so many other irons in the fire in terms of mini We make a lot of different stuff. Yeah. Damn sure, dude. There's always a selection. There's always something. Toys R Us exclusive. We got to run over there. Uh -huh. I did a couple of trips because I, I like to look out for the community when I can. So, like, friends are here. All right, yeah. So, my friend James was like, I need the Uncharted Toys R Us exclusive mini and stuff like that. Yeah, we did a bunch of different PlayStation games for that. Yeah, and video games are not something we do a lot of, but we actually have a lot going on now. We're doing uh, Mass Effect. And we're doing Dragon Age. Yeah, so um, the Dragon Age. We did Halo for a long time. Mass Effect is going to be exclusively at GameStop at first in uh, Blind Bags. Uh, we're just starting to do Blind Bags. We're doing that Blind Bag. Then uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, we're going to do Blind Bag. The turtles look Try awesome. it out. See how it looks. People like uh, the Blind Bag thing, so we're, we're giving it a try with Mini Mates. See how, see how that works. I, I think I'm going to try you guys out with the Mini Mates for the Turtles when they drop. Because um, I'm not really happy with the Nickelodeon stuff. So I'm going to give that a shot. Because I really like what you guys are doing now. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, actually, I voted you guys my personal best of show from um, San Diego Comic Con. Yeah? Yeah, I, I was really happy when I saw the Carnage and Cable and wow. the, the Universal Monsters took me back to my dad. Because me and my dad, we have a close relationship and um, we always talk. And he's always telling me, yeah, those were my movies, Frankenstein and, and stuff. And I showed him actually Charlie Mrs. Reviews and he was like, wow, oh, yeah. And he asked, he, he asked if, if, I, if I could get one Saturday, he's going to give me the money. So I'm hoping you guys still have something. I just saw Frankenstein. But he wants, I think, Creature he really wants. Yeah, I think cool. Creature's been really popular. I mean, that's, that, that's even the second time we've done Creature. And, you know, it's a big, more articulated improvement over the original. And it's been sold out. I think it's, if we're not sold out at the warehouse, we're, we're pretty close to it. But it did, it, 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 you know, far and away, it's, he's our most popular monster. Everybody loves the Creature. He exceeded expectations. Yeah. So since, since San Diego Comic-Con, like, Anything new? Like I, I've seen some extra add-ons to that carnage. And yeah. I think that's the se separation anxiety head. The other one. Uh, I can't remember what the other head is. I thought it was um, carnage versus venom, but I could be wrong about that. The the alternate head where his mouth is open, and then you got the Cletus Cassidy head. Yeah, none of that stuff was available because uh, the sculptor and painter Gene St. Jean he delivered this stuff right to the show, and he didn't have all the parts done. But now we got the claw hands, we got the axe hand and the spear hand. And all the tendrils are going to be, some of them are going to be wire posable, some of them are just going to be sculpted plastic. Wire um, posable, you hear that, Shark? Yeah. This, the, the long tendrils are going to be, be able to have them whipping around them and doing stuff. And, oh, wow. uh, 
uh, the and it's going to be you know I'll have all those interchangeable parts just like the classic Venom, which we're also reissuing uh, the, this, later this year. We're going to be putting out the classic Venom again. That's and as awesome. oh yeah, yeah. Gene sculpted. Yeah, I, I actually have two of them on card still, so <laughs> yeah, I got three actually, one to play with and two on card put away. <laughs> Everybody's looking for it, and you got them all. Yeah, actually, uh, interesting story. I have a uh, my comic book shop in the Bronx. His name is Phil Fordham Comics. He's been there for 30 years. He's the guy I go to for my selects. Yeah. So the funny thing is, one day almost I was doing a video review on the Venom and the leg broke, and I called Phil. I said I started crying. I was like, yo, I need my Venom. He goes, I got two. Come get him. So he's the guy I go to, and he actually had a movie. I don't know if you remember last year. I actually we had the the movie Wolverine. Yeah. And he was like, oh, it's gone. He actually had a case left, and I was able to pick it up. Awesome. So so yeah. yeah um, that was a popular figure for us too. Yeah, I know that. You, you guys nailed it out the park with that one. I still love it. I People still, still, still talking about that one. Yeah, you know, we're hoping that uh, we'll be able to raise the bar a little bit when we do our stuff for Avengers next year. I was, uh, and, I wanted to, and I wanted to ask you, as far as raising the bar, um, I, it just dawned on me because you guys did, like you said, a second release of um, the Creature from the Black Lagoon. You added articulation. Maybe if you guys could like brainstorm. I was thinking maybe you could do like a remastered series, like Diamond Select Remastered. And some of the figures that lack, that were awesome, like my personal favorite, I would like to see redone is um. Anti Venom, I do love that figure. I do have it. It's awesome. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I, I can see that one not being high, too high on our list of redos. But I mean, in terms of like any of the big name characters that you know could use a, a new take on them, you know, I mean, I'd love to see us do a new version of Costume Wolverine. You know, that maybe is a little bit more poseable, like that movie Wolverine. But you know, the, our our original figures are still, you know, people are still buying them and still loving them. That those that interpret those classic art, maybe in a little less poseable look. You know, maybe you can't do as much with them, but they really do capture the art in a lot of ways. And I think there are people who like that, and you know, so for us to go back and revisit it, it's got to be, you know, something we got to really think so about. It. And you know, if you know, the Disney store is great about that, sometimes they'll say, you know, hey, we'd like to have our own exclusive version of this character, and I get us a chance to redo characters like, uh, you know, Thor. If we ever do that classic version of Thor, uh, you know, to go along with our modern Thor, uh, Captain America, we did a classic version. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of really good opportunities there. We're going to be uh, doing another redo that's going to be debuted on Marvel.com this Monday, the 13th. You can't so, say, you can't I say. I can't say what it is, but if you check Marvel.com, you see it's, uh, it's So we, we were up to some stuff that's going to be released. We were talking online. about the Marvel.com thing. I don't know if you want to talk any more about that. No, that's I, I can't give too many details. It's just, a, I think I said it was a redo and it was a 616 maybe. Oh, it's a, okay, okay, it's a redo. All right, that's, that's yeah. how but, I was saying. you're talking about big guys. But we thought we could go back and redo, and that was, and that was, and I was saying Disney helps us out with that a lot by saying by allowing us to go back and do new versions of the big characters. But he's a, uh, a big guy. He's a he's he's a he's a he's a pillar of the Marvel universe. Absolutely. So after we. So yeah, yeah. You you'll find out Monday. Uh, they, it's gonna be on Marvel.com. They kill me if I blew it here. Uh, but uh, no, it's it's pretty cool. I got to do a whole photo shoot with. Uh, they said I got one of the figures early, and I. Uh, I took it out and I did a photo shoot with it. They, Disney lets me do that. Uh, and then they use them for Marvel.com and they use them on their newsletters. And it's fun to do. I, I've been shooting toys for a long time. It's just before I worked for Diamond, so All right. I have fun doing it. That's cool. Ne ne you can't tell us anything about the Apocalypse movie, though? You got anything work in line I, for that? I, I, I think right now, I think you can just assume we're probably not going to do anything for the X-Men Apocalypse movie. Uh, we didn't have much luck doing anything for Days of Future Past, unfortunately. Yeah, I know so, we're supposed to do that Mystique. Yeah, so we weren't able to do Mystique, unfortunately. I don't think we have anything on the schedule for Days of Future Past or Ant-Man at this point. But honestly, uh, you know, we wanted to keep doing comic stuff. And if we do movie stuff, then that takes away from the comic stuff. And with Age of Ultron, which we definitely want to do at least a couple figures from, that's that's going to take up a big chunk of space right there. So we're gonna we're gonna have stuff from Age of Ultron. And we're gonna have comic stuff. And as far as other movie stuff next year, I don't know how much you're really gonna see. And, and that's Hush Hush stuff too, the Age of Ultron stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could probably look at you know characters we've done and characters we haven't done in a while, and characters we could use a new version. And you know, you could probably start guessing at what we're gonna do. But uh, you know, it's you know, I expect to see at least a few figures from us for that. Probably some exclusives too. We like Disney Store likes to do stuff for the big movies as well. Yeah, the Disney Store is hard to get to for me. Yeah, I gotta come down here. I'm in the Bronx. And I have a car, but my dad don't let me drive it that much. <laughs> well, luckily you're in the U.S. because uh, a lot of our overseas customers are disappointed when we do something for the Disney Store that they can't get over there. But unfortunately, 
if we didn't do it at the Disney store, then it wouldn't exist at all. Because they're they're allowing us to make more figures per year than we would normally be able to. Yeah, so you know, normally we're limited, but Disney store lets us do a few more, and that gets more figures out to the collectors. And that's you know, however you have to get them. You know, I know it's hard sometimes, but it's a good thing you know that we're that those things, that those figures are out there because it's just more stuff to collect and it helps us build the line and expand it. Hopefully, you know, there's ways you can get it. The Disney store in the UK has actually been getting some uh, some figures from our series. I think they got. Um, I believe they got uh, Winter Soldier. I don't think they got Superior Spider-Man, but they have been getting some of the Marvel Selects exclusive. So hopefully we'll see more stuff international. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of shipping over there for those guys. Yeah? Yeah. I, I've been getting a lot of the um, the two-pack, the Spider-Man Electro two-pack. Yeah. I've been shipping those over there. The Hulk Unleashed. I've been shipping those over there. Yeah, you're a hero. Yeah, man. And I, I ha you know, that's, that's just who I am, and I got to do it. I got to do it. I like because it, it's it, you're a fan, you're an addict, as other people say. So you gotta help out. Yeah, I try. So, so I let. No, it's, it's people like you that uh, you know that make that you know, they make it possible for us to you know continue to service those people because you know we, the U.S. exclusives are always gonna be a part of it. So thank you for helping out overseas fans because you know I, I always say to them, look, make a friend online, make a friend in the forums, and you know see if they can hook you up because. You know, unfortunately, Disney Store doesn't ship everything internationally, and not every international store is going to carry it. But. I'm just happy she hasn't killed me yet, because yeah. you know, it takes up the space. So as far as the movie goes, you guys, um, are, is it going to branch into the Mini Mates also? Or? We are definitely doing Age of Ultron Mini Mates, and I think you're going to see stuff from, uh, uh, from from some of the other movies as well. I don't know for sure every movie, but uh, we will be doing other movies, Marvel movies next year. And we're starting to look at uh, TV stuff as well, so I maybe expect to see some TV stuff from us from in the Mini Mate category. Not figures yet. But, uh, but many like movies. Agents of Shield, stuff like that. Uh, we're we're you know we're looking at the we're looking at the live action, we're looking at animation, we're looking at a lot of different stuff. So. Okay, okay. So and, we'll see what happens. And what, what what's the inspiration on the Mego style? Uh, the inspiration was everybody's doing retro figures nowadays. Everybody's doing those eight-inch cloth costume Mego style figures, and the one that nobody's done is Marvel. So we went, you know, we're making seven-inch Marvel figures for the select. So we went back and we said, you know, what is it? What do we have to do to do this? And you know, we said, all right, we got to do, we got to have an eighty-dollar uh, price point uh, for a single figure, and. How, what can we do to make that figure as cool as possible? So we came up with the idea of doing alternate costumes, alternate heads, and you know, really tricking it out and putting in the, the reproduction of old school packaging. Uh, and putting it all in a big gift tray. There's even a book in there that has like articles about Nego customizing and collecting and the character and the character history and all that. So each package is going to be, it's going to be just a lot of stuff to do. You know, to display all three costumes, you'll have to go and buy additional Mego bodies. And there are people online who sell those. Uh, Dr. Mego is a big, big supplier, that sort of thing. Uh, but otherwise, you'll be able to trade the costumes on that one figure that you get and display whichever one you like the best. And your, and your, but your product is, I believe, more articulated than the other stuff that's coming out now, right? Uh, I don't know. I honestly haven't had a chance to compare the relative articulation to uh, on the different 8-inch bodies. I know there are a couple of guys who do stuff. Uh, one of the biggest uh, companies that does the retro is MC Toys, and they do development uh, uh, for a lot of different companies. So yeah, there are probably a bunch of different companies using these type of bodies, and I know that they're regularly developing new bodies. So you'll see, um, you know, it is a, definitely a new style of the classic body that we're using. Um, uh, but it's pretty articulated and it works much better than the original Mego bodies. They've made improvements, Dr. Mego has. So, um, so it's similar, going to be similar to what you see in other lines, because, just because MC is doing this developing on both, both lines. But um, uh, I, I haven't compared it to some of the other companies that are doing, that are doing stuff out there. They, they look surprisingly good. I, I saw that, I was like, whoa! Yeah. But the Wolverine is the one I want. As you can, yeah. as you want. I mean, the old school Migos did have limitations. I used to shout a lot, shoot a lot of Migos at Toy Fair magazine. And you get them to do certain things, like cross their arms and stuff like that. It was tricky, because the arms wouldn't have a lot of range of motion. And some of those problems have been solved with the newer bodies. And some of it is just you know, part of the love of those 70s figures. You know, there's, there are certain limitations, but it's part of the charm. You know, it's part of that old school mentality. Yeah, and you guys give it your, your mini mate twist by giving this extra clothing, the swappable parts. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you what know, I like. Yeah. Pe people love the extra parts. I mean, you know, the the Marvel, the movie Wolverine, people love the extra parts. Carnage, people love the extra parts. Venom. So we're like, you know what? 
You know, we try to do that with the mini mates a lot. We've been doing that longer than with the select, doing the interchangeable, you know, heads and torsos and, and even hands for stuff. Um, the, the new series, Mario Series 60, we're just showing at the show. It's going to have all the X-Men Strike Force costumes from around Uncanny 275. So it's going to be, you know, you're going to be able to change out the heads and make whatever characters you want. So if you buy two sets, and you can make a Wolverine and you can make the Gambit. You, and you can make a Banshee and you can make a uh, Forge. You know, I think I reversed that. It's, each one comes with extra parts to make a different character. So if you don't need a Wolverine, you can make a Forge. If you want to get both, you buy two sets, you can make both. And they're going to come with Brotherhood members, and each of those Brotherhood members are, are going to have some alternate looks as well. So like Blob will have alternate hands and feet. If you like the barefoot Blob, and uh, Avalanche has a different chest piece from when he had a different kind of armor. And even Destiny's got a cool uh, uh, a hair piece to show her with the blind eyes underneath the mask. And when those are coming out, by the holiday season? Yeah. If not by the end of the year, then definitely early 2015. That might be kind of close for Christmas because um, we're just debuting them and we haven't even solicited them in previews yet. That's going to happen at the end of this month. It's probably going to be early 2015. I wouldn't say. I wouldn't look for them this year. But we are going to have a new line, a new wave of comic stuff out at uh, Toys R Us before the end of the year. I believe Series 19 will be there. And that's got some cool 616. Um, I don't think any new characters typically, but some characters we haven't done in a long time. And we're due for a, an update or at least a refresh. Okay. I look into that. And then, um, have you been able to get wind down closer to a release date for the Carnage or the Cable? Um, or is it the cable, same as Cable we've solicited. So we're waiting on the final orders for that. And I think it's going to be a tight for end of the year. So I would expect early 2015 for that. But Carnage is going to be right behind it. So, you know, we're we're already, you know, moving forward on production for Carnage. And, uh, you know, we're, we'll see what the orders are when they come in. But, you know, it, it, that doesn't really affect us too much when the Marvel selects because uh, we know we're going to sell a certain amount. So uh, we expect them both to hit early and early in the year. Uh, cable should come first, but we'll see. You know, each every select figure is so unique and, you know, has different... Uh, you know, challenging portions of like different parts need to be made and, you know, paint applications. Carnage has crazy paint. Cable has crazy pouches. You know, you got a lot of different stuff that you got to deal with each figure. And, you know, I, stuff yeah. comes up, you got you to deal with it as it comes. Yeah, but that's the beautiful thing about you guys. Um, I never had a problem personally after buying a Select with paint. I never had a paint problem. Um, you know, we try. Companies. You know, we, it, when you're mass producing 10,000 figures and, you know, we would have the elaborate, some intricate paint details like we do. You know, not everyone is going to be 100. percent You know, but that's it's it's mass-produced toys, and it's you know it's part of the charm. You know, so you're getting for 25 dollars. If you're getting a custom hand-painted figure where every single brush stroke is perfect, it cost you a lot more than 25 dollars. It cost you you know 50, 60, 100 dollars. You got to customize it to make figures. You know, we see the guys selling them online, custom figures. They, they charge a mint for them because they look. I, I, awesome. I just started doing that. Yeah, uh, you know, there's some great guys out there. You know, we used to have them do stuff for us at Toy Fair, and they just. They do some spot-on work, even if it's just putting a new paint job, clean, I'll show, I'll show you clean, detailed paint job on an existing figure. You know, not even a custom character, just a tricked-out paint job. You know, it's some beautiful stuff, but you know that takes a lot more time, and you know you're talking a lot more dollars. And you know the factory would have to charge more money for that, and then the price goes up. So we try to make it as uh, you know detailed and elaborate and complete as possible for the price point we're going for. Yeah, and your price point is good too. We get, I, I feel that when you give. We get a lot when we purchase one of your figures. I, thank you, I really thank do. you. You know, we, the bases are something that we took pride in for a long time. But, you know, we've seen how people respond to the parts, so we're doing more with interchange of parts. You know, cable, there's a lot of weapons, because it's cable. But you also got the just diorama base with Strife mask and stuff like that. Rubble, you know, we like the rubble. That'd be cool. Um, but, you know, Carnage isn't going to come with a base, because it's going to come with all that stuff. Yeah, I, I, I'm happy with the Carnage the way it is. Don't give me anything else. But. Uh, we're gonna close out the interview. Yeah. Man. Again, thank you so much, Zach. I really no, appreciate great it. Great talking here. Great talking. I could talk to. I could talk to you forever about this stuff. I, I, I would too. Next year. I'll be here. To, I'm. I'm still on the fence whether I'm gonna come tomorrow. All right. Because I'm still recovering from the surgery. I'm. I, I'm trying to um, strengthen it now, so I can be able to do whatever I can. But yeah, don't, 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 don't ruin it. So. I, oh, when you saw me last year, that was like two weeks out. Two weeks out of surgery. Wow. And I and I, I came primarily to meet Charlotte, that's why. So that was the first day we hung out. But um, again, man, I appreciate it like, for you to give me that time. And even now, I, I started doing figure reviews a year ago, and I only got 361 subscribers. And for you to even grant me this interview on the strength, man, I really appreciate it a lot. Yeah, anything I can do to help, you know, people who are reviewing our stuff, who like our stuff online, you know, uh, who get what we're doing. I mean, you know, see that we're trying to make the best product for collectors. You know, I, I want to support that. And, you know, get you giving me the opportunity to get this information out to people. 
you know, that's great because I can talk however on my own YouTube channel, but you know, I'm not going to hit the people you're hitting. And, you know, so you're, you're taking me to new people. That's great. All right. Thank you so much.